Not that Cygnosis was in particularly bad shape before, but the design potential of the Sony PlayStation has breathed new life into the OWL company. After unleashing Destruction Derby and Wipeout on the unsuspecting world, they're preparing another action onslaught for the PlayStation and PC. Assault Rigs is combat in its purest form, with no messy physics models or monsters getting in the way of slaughtering your opponent. In the not-too-distant future, virtual reality is used to settle disputes instead of an actual battlefield where people get killed and stuff. Your first look at this battlefield will probably remind you of the Disney movie Tron. As a cyber soldier, you get to choose from three battle tanks, one with lots of speed but almost no armor, one with lots of armor but almost no speed, and one kinda in between. Your objective, shoot anything that moves. What else? You can shift your perspective to five different views as you wreak havoc on your foes. In order to move from level to level, you have to run over a certain number of gem-shaped objects. Can you say Pac-Man? I thought you could. But instead of cartoon monsters, you have other tanks to fight, very likely piloted by other humans. The game will be 8-player net compatible and modem ready. Along with those gems, you'll also find floating cubes around the area. When you shoot these, they break open to reveal all manner of goodies from landmines to bouncing bullets, like in Atari's combat. Deploying these new weapons will cause your turret to morph in a most excellent manner. So your enemies are tracking you, and they may well have guided missiles or machine guns, but that's not all you have to worry about. The very terrain you're navigating is a booby-trapped wonderland, chock full of ramps, skyways, trenches, movable blocks, and elevators. As you progress from level to level, you'll notice the scenery becoming more detailed, as well as your tank. Slowly but surely, texture mapping and shading are added to give you a much more realistic look. This doesn't change the play dynamic one jot, though. It's always arcade simple. For all you action fans who can't handle a plot more complicated than Doom, Assault Rigs looks like a dream. Primarily, it's a really interesting area for you to drive around in and kill all your friends. There are plenty of unusual power-ups to keep the action flexible, and the changing visuals will keep your eyes from getting bored. Since this is a game based on a game, there's no attempt at real physics, so don't expect anything even remotely like a real tank game. But if you can handle the surreal setting, Assault Rigs may bludgeon its way into your heart. Look for it this spring.